excuse me, um, black guy in this bus who's glaring at me and clearly hates me for some reason, may I speak with you for a minute? I don't mean to bother you, it's just that you're clearly upset, and rather than just ignore this very apparent rift between us, I think we should just tackle the problem head on. What do you say? Okay, I don't know if anybody's just come out and said this yet, so I guess it's up to me. Here goes. I am really, really sorry about slavery. Whew. Oh, that feels better, <laughs> just to get it out there, you know? Slavery was totally not cool. It was a really, really bad idea. And believe me, if I could go back in time and tell my ancestors not to enslave your ancestors 200 years ago, I would do it. I know that things have been pretty awkward between our races ever since that whole slavery thing went down. We really dug ourselves quite a hole, didn't we? But can I just say a couple of things to defend myself personally right now? First of all, I'd like to assure you that I have personally never owned slaves. Not even one. I find the whole concept abhorrent, and I would never engage in that practice, okay? Secondly, I'd like to note that while at college, I took a couple of diversity classes and a black history class, scored a B. So, in light of all that, is it really fair to keep holding the sins of my forefathers over my head for this long? And I can tell by your continued angry stare that these are all moot points. Well, black guy in this bus who's glaring at me and clearly hates me for some reason, this is my stop. I would like to thank you for at least listening to what I had to say, as I think listening is the most important step we can take towards solving our problems. Take care now. A white guy who's trying to make up for centuries of systematic abuse against my people with a half-assed condescending apology. Yes? I probably deserve that.